Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be doing a overview of my stash portfolio and hopefully it'll give some of you out there some ideas of some great investments that you may be able to choose. First up is Amazon, which is up about 30%, and most of that is really coming from the last month. Uh, they've been doing extremely well, uh, mostly because they're in a much better position to handle the current situation than most other of the big companies out there. And then Microsoft, on the other hand, has just steadily increased since I first invested in it uh, about a year and two months ago. Uh, Microsoft, along with Google, was one of my first investments on the Stash app. Next up is NVIDIA and Advanced Micro Devices, which are both uh, microchip companies, and they both have done extremely well in the last couple of years, seeing like great returns. Um, and AMD actually announced a few months ago that they're going to be in the Xbox Series X, which is going to probably be their biggest client ever. So I'm sure that they're going to steadily uh, continue to increase until um, that Xbox is released. And then speaking of Xbox, there's Activision Blizzard on here. Um, so they've recently gotten to mobile gaming and they've been extremely successful with that so far. And they plan to continue to expand um, in the mobile gaming industry. So they've been doing they've been doing really well for themselves. Next up is Apple, which has seen a lot of pullback recently, but they are still up significantly since I first invested $50 in them around a year ago. And then Take-Two Interactive, I've actually made a video on them. I think they're a really good long-term play. Um, they make rockstar games and or just make really quality uh, video games uh, if you are interested in learning more about them. And then there's Google, which is also really great long term with all of that they do with YouTube, which is really just growing uh, all across the world, as well as more um, people having access to the Internet uh, year over year. Uh, Google is one of the prime benefactors of that. Then there's Alibaba, which is the biggest e-commerce player in China and most of Asia, actually. So betting on the future success of them is basically betting on the growth of the economy of China, which is almost a sure bet, uh, maybe not in the short term, but um, looking at years to come. Visa and MasterCard, I was actually previously at over 30% uh, gains on both of these, but um, they're, I only invested $25 in each of these. I actually own both of these in Robinhood as well. Uh, but I actually think both of these are really great investments if you're looking for a stock that's a little bit pulled back right now and uh, very safe moving forward. I skipped over all of the stocks that I've earned uh, just pennies with, with the Stash debit card. The first one you see on here is just uh, Southwest, which is, uh, I use the Stash debit card to buy a flight, so I have nine cents of stock back with them. But then there's Salesforce, which I originally invested in, um, but I don't really uh, believe in them long-term. They're pretty good. They collect a ton of data, um, which is really valuable, and they're one of the best players in data, actually. But um, I don't know a ton about the company, to be honest. And then there's Match the Market, which is an ETF that just fol closely follows the S&P 500. Then there's Young Money, which is an ETF that is geared towards companies that are aimed towards millennials. And Berkshire Hathaway, which invests in a large variety of things, um, which is previously managed by Warren Buffett, but he's that's definitely why Berkshire uh, Hathaway is as famous as it is. And then Slow and Steady, what's kind of funny about this one is that it's supposed to be kind of similar to the um, Match the Market, which I previously mentioned, but it's actually down significantly more than Match the Market right now. And then my biggest gainer on Stash was actually Tesla because I originally invested around $500 on them when the stock price was about $240, and then I sold when the stock price was $500. So that's why my return doesn't quite add up with the stocks that I currently have in here. Um, but I have still seen a significant uh, gain even with all of the... Um, pull back in the market right now. Please leave me a comment down below if you have any questions and come check out my other videos. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching.